Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is the evolution of the water wick at our house. What we have is the water, the wick going into this, this pot, and wick going into that pot. And yep, this, the wick is definitely wet. And my wife very wisely suggested we put some sort of cover on the top there to minimize the evaporation because you can see there's quite a bit of condensation in here so the difference in temperature can be extreme <clears throat> at times and so looking along here we have a number of spider plants all in equally more or less equally ugly pots so what I'm going to do today is evolve the same idea with a slightly larger uh, pot, tray, trough, what do you want to call it. I'm going to use some of these volcanic stones. I've already set up my well. <laughs> this, is my, this will be my new water well. Same idea here. <clears throat> I'm going to put the water well in the middle. I've already laid down all of the wicking which is literally, this is, the this is the string that was used to tie the pizza box last night. So I'll be back with more in a few minutes. Okay, this is phase two. You can see I've got the spider plants now in this, I believe this is an 80 centimeter pot, trough, whatever. And the roots are in, or rather the plants are in, and I... <clears throat> I got a little bit of dirt in the pot here, but this is the well, and you can still see the strings, and you can see the wicks rather. Um, they're thoroughly, uh, totally underneath all of this, so we're we're good to go. Next step will be to uh, fill in with dirt, or maybe use the lava rocks, uh, and then put some water in and refresh the system. Okay, this is phase three. Plants are in their respective places and the uh, well is full and the wick is still dry because I just put it in. It'll take a couple hours for the wick to begin wicking out the water. Uh, and I've been very lazy and everybody out there who's going to have different opinion, you're welcome to your opinion. However, I am lazy, so I just used the lava rocks because spider plants are tropical weeds. If you spent any time in the tropics, you've seen these plants. And they cling to trees, rocks, anything. And as long as they get a little bit of water every now and again, they're okay. Because they store an enormous amount of water in their roots. Uh, I should have done a photo of some of the root balls I pulled, I, I got when I pulled these these bad boys out, but if you spend any time in the tropics, you recognize this. This is uh, this is almost like a palm. The roots are definitely out of the soil, so if they're not in soil and they're only supported by rocks and water, these guys should do fine. I'll post back in, uh, well, a week, month, whatever show the progress, but I'm pretty confident these guys will survive. I might lose one or two, but <clears throat> anyway, thanks for watching and happy planting.